Hi. Um. Well, let's see. I want to try to set this so I can see what I'm taking a picture of. There have been, well, a lot of flat earthers out there claiming that you can't produce a rainbow indoors without a mirror because uh, because they think the firmament is reflective and you know this this big solid dome we're supposedly living under uh, acts as a mirror and that that's the only reason you can get rainbows in the sky um, well you can actually produce a rainbow indoors quite a few different ways but the thing is sunlight is very bright producing a rainbow indoors that you can see well or get a picture of it's a little more difficult but i have a little something here called a spectroscope this is a very inexpensive spectroscope it doesn't have a meter in it i have another one that does um and there are much more advanced ones than that as well but this is something pretty easy to get um there's a brand name if anybody wants to look it up and buy yourself one on amazon or something um, as I said, very inexpensive. It has a slit in one end. Uh, that's to allow the light to uh, be narrowed down, the, the beam of light to be narrowed down. So if I put this up against my camera, you should be able to see there is a rainbow. And I can, I can adjust that um, so it blurs together. Or I can adjust that so that it <clears throat> separates the colors as much as possible. But notice that rainbow has holes in it. That's because it's it's mainly coming from my indoor lighting right now. Now, if I turn it toward the sunlight coming in through my window, you'll see a lot of glare on the screen uh, in, in the center. But notice also that you get a very full spectrum uh, visible light rainbow. Um, not really well represented on, on the computer, I dare say. Uh, but if you get yourself an actual spectroscope, you should be able to do that yourself. Now, I'm going to pull the spectroscope off. That's this part. Uh, the, I'm going to pull the, the tube off, I should say, which has the, the slit on one end. And here is the other end, which simply has a, a diffraction grating piece of plastic on it. No mirror. And I put that over the lens, and now you can see uh, basically that slit opening in, in the window there showing up as a rainbow. A little more blurred together because it's not as narrow if I narrow that down a bit it makes the colors a little crisper and I'm gonna swing this around and uh, aim it at my my uh, lamp that I have turned on right now and I can't see the picture from from where I'm at right now but uh, I just put the uh, diffraction grating back over the lens and I'm sort of rotating it around to change the angle of the grating and again as you can see not using a mirror just this diffraction grating little piece of plastic that's all and if I turn that a little farther I'm going to spin it around the other way so I don't tangle my cords up uh, to my other lamp that I have going oh let's see I only have one bulb turned on there turn on the other two and there again I put the diffraction grating in front of the lens <clears throat> and you can see um, those are not smeared together like the colors in a full spectrum rainbow instead you're actually seeing each of the individual colors represented as a separate image if I Bring this down. This way you can see all three bulbs. And uh, notice the, the separate images there. Each have their own color. Now, on your on a red, green, blue monitor, all you're actually seeing is red, green, and blue. Different amounts of each one uh, blending together visually so that it appears to be different colors. But, if, again, if you get yourself an actual diffraction grating... You can see those colors yourself. You can do the same thing with a prism. And if I grab the um, slit end off of this and just put those two together and bring that back to the lights, 
again I can produce a slit and uh, let's see there there's there's your your rainbow uh, from a slit which is a little a little more clear um, the colors are a little more distinct but again notice this is a very wide slit so what I'm basically getting is an image of the slit multiple times each each image each copy of the image in a different color across the spectrum and if I cover up part of the slit you can see the the shape that's being represented I'm covering it with my finger actually which is kind of letting some some red light through and uh, you can see that the different images the, the red shows up a little better there than the other colors because I'm getting more red through my finger than other colors and uh, the shape that's that's represented is actually a smear of that um, that slit shape so now I don't know how how well that's gonna show up on the uh, on the recording but I did want to make a quick recording just to show people that it is possible quite easily actually uh, to make a rainbow indoors without a mirror um, but there again it's it's not an easy thing to show on the camera you can do it with a, a little water in, in a glass um, just just tip the water at an angle so so that uh, the light takes a longer time to pass through part of it than another part find the right angle to look through it you'll see your rainbow and that's really all that's going on with a rainbow in the sky is that you've got droplets of water which um, reflect the light according to their shape uh, not reflect refract the light according to their shape there there is some reflection going on inside of the water droplet as well by the way you don't need a firmament to be doing that um, and and again inside of a prism also uh, you've got refraction going on you've also got some reflection going on and so you will tend to get multiple uh, images of the rainbow if the light is bright enough uh, that you'll be able to make out so that's it for this recording and I hope this helps some people who are still not sure whether or not they should hold on to their flat earth beliefs to uh, well get a clue how they can figure it out for themselves reality has the answers just look at reality